This is Building a Blog with Rails 5 and Bootstrap 4, Part 14. This episode will hopefully be really short. I just wanted to finish up a couple of things that were left uh, unfinished from the last episode. And then in the next episode, we're going to deploy this to Heroku. So the first thing I want to deal with is this here where it says author. If you look in most um, applications that you would use, you're not going to see um, something like this. You'd see more like the person's name printed out here. And that's what I want to do now that I'm sure that we're tracking the name and then we have a, a form field where you can actually enter your name. Um, so let's do that. So let's jump back to the code and let's open up that nav bar. First of all, we did not change this here on mobile, but maybe we can worry about that later. Um, yeah, let's deal with that later. We may need to do some mobile revisions in another episode or something. Um, so right here, we could say uh, current author dot name, and that will work sort of there's going to be a problem if I come in here and I clear my name well I can't clear my name um, let me make it so that I can for a second so the case where this would matter is if the person just signed up because after they come in here and they edit their info uh, we're not going to let them do this. So I just commented that, that validation out for a second so that I could clear that. And I'm going to go ahead and put it back before I forget. So at any rate, now I have a um, blank name. And you can see that we just have this uh, little arrow here now. So what I would do is probably something like um, inside the author class, we can write something like display name. And then we can say if name dot uh, present uh, name else um, author so as a default so the way you think about if statements like this um, whatever's in the bottom is the default so the default display when you first sign up is author um, and we can even do something like um, So we could say, show them the actual ID. I need to actually add it in the uh, nav bar. So you could say, um, author whatever. I mean, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Um, maybe you want to add some kind of random number or something. For now, I'm just going to say author. And then if I go in and I add my name back, now I should update with my name. Okay, that's cool. Something else we might do there is we have this Gravatar image URL now. Um, I'm thinking I want to throw, let's try this. So let's do image tag current author gravatar image URL let's just stick that in there and see what happens it's gonna be ugly but yeah it'll throw that in there and then um, this is we have this nav link drop down table nav nav item dot drop down uh, let's call this author author nav yeah let's call it that and then let's open up the we have a nav bar CSS right yep so um, I should be able to do a dot and author nav here and I'm just gonna do a quick test to make sure that I've got this um, selected correctly 
No, something's not right. Where am I at? Nav item, author nav. Oh, it needs to be up one. Well, now that I'm, so it's just nav item author nav. Okay, so let's try this again. Yep, now we're working. Okay, so I obviously don't want that to be black. Um, so I want the image to be height, let's just do 40 width 40. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe that will inline it better. Um, let's do it with 30. Okay, I think my uh, nav bar is the correct height now. Let's stop messing that up. And then we could do like border radius, 50%, uh, which will give us a circle. And maybe I want to, um, yeah, that might be good like that. We might just leave that that way. I could do um, border, I want to pick solid white. Let's see what that looks like. It's not bad. I'm wondering uh, what color is this text again? Is that, um, let me open up my colors file. We have this um, primary color light, maybe it's that. Yeah, let's leave it like that. I think that looks pretty good. One thing I might consider doing would be putting a border and some separation here, but um, I don't think I'm gonna do that for now. Well, why not? Let's try it. So, border left, one pixel solid, primary color light. Let's see what that does. Just gonna stick that there. Yeah, no, let's not worry about this. I think it looks fine, and I don't really want to uh, spend a ton of time on that. So the last thing I want to do is go into our post page um, and add the author bio. So we're in the blog section, post, um, show is where we want to be. And we want to put it in between the post body and the comments. So right here, I'm just going to add some... Uh, HTML, author bio, we'll call this, and then we'll do like a H4 current author dot name. No, we don't want to do current author. That doesn't make sense because um, if you're not logged in, that would that would be blank, and we don't want that. So that would not be the right thing. So what we want to show is the post author which we should be able to call because the post belongs to an author. So what we want to do is actually, um, let's see, so we could do an image tag, let's start like that. Um, post.author.gravitar image URL. Then we'll do name. And then maybe we'll do um, bio. And I'm going to actually make this an H6. And let's just see what this looks like, um, kind of 
out of the box. It's not going to look great, but we'll, um, okay. So what do we want this to look like? I think I want to put a border around it. Obviously give it some different padding a little bit. And then maybe put a slightly different background color. Okay, so let's go back over to the code. Let's open up our uh, post CSS here. Um, if you remember, we set this up with a post index section and we should have a post show. Or if we don't have one, we can make one. It looks like we don't have a post show style, style area at the moment. Um, so what we can do, post.show, okay, and then we can do author, bio, and for now, let's do, um, let's check out our colors again, um, primary color light, accent color, primary text color, hmm. Maybe let's try this primary color light. That might be too intense. I think that might be too intense. Let's let's give it a shot though. So background color, um, primary color light, uh, padding. Let's do 15 pixels. Border, one pixel. Solid something. What does it need to be? Uh, we can just do primary color. Hmm. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to say, um, I'm just going to make this white, and then the border will be um, primary color light. Border radius, maybe, of like five pixels. And well, let's see what this looks like. It's not terrible. It's not fantastic, but it's not terrible. Let's work with it for a minute. Um, first off, I'm going to put a margin top of 20 pixels and a margin bottom of 20 pixels. That's a little bit better. Then I want to hit my image again and do margin, or no, not margin, a uh, border radius of 50%. I want to get a good circle in there. Um, let's do um, image H4, H6, line height 1.5. Let's see what that does. Yeah, okay, so we're stretching all of that out a little bit. Let's do two. I don't really want to do it that way. Let's do um, margin uh, bottom 10 pixels. And I don't need my H6 in there. Okay, that's getting somewhere. So off the top of my head, I think I don't like the border radius. I don't like the border. The fonts are doing something a little screwy with me. I think that I want to give this a little bit more padding on the left and right so that this text doesn't span out so wide. And we might want to make the name bold or something. Um, but anyway, let's start with the uh, first two things. So first off, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that, and let's just see what that does. It's going to look a little bit better. Yeah, that's better already. Then let's, um, let's see. Um, let's look at that H4. Let's do the font weight, bold. Um, let's do padding. 
So I never remember the order of these things, but it could be like padding 15 and then 30. And I think that the first one says top and bottom, and this one says left and right. And I may have that backwards, so let's find out. Nope, I am correct. And I want to do it slightly even more than that, 45. Yeah, I think that looks quite a bit better. Um, I'm going to do on the H6, I want the font weight to be, let's try 500. Yeah, I think that looks quite a bit better. I think I'm going to give the the margin top and margin bottom. Let's let's actually do what we just said and say margin uh, say 30 pixels and then zero for the left and right. So we don't need the uh, margin top and margin bottom uh, specified independently like that. Okay, I'm not totally in love with it, but it's getting there. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, maybe the font size is messing with me. Let's make this 18 pixels. Hmm. I think that might do it. Maybe it needs to be 20, 22. Okay, and I actually think I like that better, lighter. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe we make it lighter and make it slightly bigger. Font size, 17, 18. Hmm, I'm not sure what I think about that. Maybe 16 is the best. Okay, that's gonna be the end of the tweaking on this. I think that that's fine. That may have been what it was already. Okay, cool. So now when we look at a post, first of all, we have our uh, name and photo in the nav bar if we're logged in. And then on every post, we have our name and bio. Awesome, so I think that wraps up version one of our blog app. The next episode, I am going to deploy this, and that will wrap up the first installment of this series. I've gotten quite a bit of questions about other things we could add and do to it, and what I think I'm going to do is, um, uh, for some of the requests, there's a few good ideas. Um, someone was asking about infinite scroll on the, uh, the landing page. Um, there have been a few other things. I think what I'm going to do is actually fork this project on GitHub and show you how you would do that one feature, and that's going to be a standalone episode on that topic. Um, so that'll be kind of cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, next time we'll deploy this, and um, then uh, you guys will be able to check it out on the web, and we'll come back and add some stuff to it later. Um, anyway, I think that's it. I will talk to you next time.